Back in the dusty workshop again. Um, this time I'm preparing a batch of uh, scales for um, fitting to, for, to knife blanks. There they are, there they're on my uh, rubbing table, my uh, surface plate. This is a piece of um, plate glass, about half inch thick. And I've got uh, an ab abrasive disc, this is about a P60. Uh, it's, uh, got, um, it's got a sticky backing so it, it sticks uh, to, the, to the glass, it makes for a very flat surface. So uh, basically the scales are they've been stabilised, in this case it's a piece of U and all I do with a straw, make sure I'm in shot zoom in I just draw lines just like that And then I know that when I uh, go on to the, um, the flattening table um, I'll sand it until all those lines are gone. Just a quick one before I do uh, start sanding this. This is yew wood. Yew wood is um, poisonous. So take extra, extra precautions anyone that works with yew. So I started to, uh, I must say that before I've gone onto the, the flat table here, I've uh, been on the platen with my grinder with, with a new belt and that gets it quite flat. But you can see there's a, a slight bow in the wood. It's taken off the edges, but the bit in the middle just there, just there, needs a bit more work. Not much, it's quite a, a fresh grit on that, so it takes it down quite quickly. That's the first one, the first scale flattened down, so now I'll do the next one. Okay, so uh, there's the, uh, the two sides. Bit of dust. We don't like dust. And that's uh, that's what you're looking for. A nice level fit like that. The next thing I do is I go over to my uh, my jigsaw and I put a block of wood on there. That's only to stop. I'll just use this as a work surface now. That's just to stop me from scratching the uh, the actual uh, work table of the jigsaw. And I'm using uh, some P40. Fresh, this is fresh uh, P40 grip belt. Uh, I just tear it up to one little piece just to scratch that surface up. It's already quite well keyed up, but. 
this just gives it that little bit of extra and uh, first of all I go that way and then I go just like you go lengthways and crossways just, just to give it that extra little bit of a key and I'll do that to the that's what I'm working on. I'm building out the batch of five knives at the moment, and um, so I've got ten scales to key up, and I've got ten liners to key up. So that's that. Uh, and the liners, obviously, uh, they've been cut to size. And it's just a matter of. Um, same, really the same again. Lengthways. Then which ways? Forms a cross hatch pattern. Reference it out like that forms a good bonding surface. Well, here they are. Here's our um, keyed up scales and uh, liners. So now I've just got to uh, blow the dust off of them and then degrease them. Fortunately, I got an airline in the workshop now, so that makes uh, an easy job of blowing the dust off. The dust goes in, up into the atmosphere, gets circulated, and then caught in my uh, air filtration system. And you can see, hopefully, you can see the amount of dust that comes off of these. Well, that's the liners de dusted. Now I've got to degrease them. And for that, I use um, pure acetone. And I get a kitchen piece of kitchen roll. If you tear it, if you tear it lengthways, I know it comes off as squares, but where it joins its previous piece of uh, kitchen roll, if you tear it along that line, it tears quite nicely, and you get thin strips. And so you don't need to use a lot of kitchen roll because it'll just absorb your um, acetone. And it's just simply a matter of uh, getting all of the scales. Degrease the scales, degrease the liners, and then what I, I will do, I'll also just give them one last, or uh, fold the, um, the, the paper to get a new piece of paper each time you do an, a different scale. Uh, and then I'll give them one more final blow down and then I'll uh, mix up the glue and glue them together. Because uh, the surface of the, uh, the, the wood and the liners has been roughened up and therefore you do get a little bit of um, paper towel stick to it so we want to just remove that with the airline next mix up your epoxy of choice uh, I'm using G Flex West Systems G Flex epoxy. I find it to be uh, an excellent epoxy. 
ideal for uh, the knife handles. The only tip I can give regarding mixing up the epoxies is uh, thoroughly mix it. You know, I will mix this for a minute and a half, constant agitation. This is a slow setting epoxy, it takes about 12 hours to set and fully harden about a day. And it's just a matter of uh, applying a thin coat onto the scales. You don't need much, just a thin coat, you've just got to make it wet basically. And then a thin coat applied to the liner. Just being careful not to uh, touch any of the uh, Degrease surfaces because uh, you might contaminate them with oils from your skin. And it's simply a matter of just putting that onto there and then clamping that up. Before I clamp it, I will just move it and oscillate it and just distribute the, the, the glue. But I'll do that in a minute. So I'll just glue some more up loosely first. Lastly, the clamping up. I've got a little clamping up uh, device. Oh, it's a piece of uh, flat angle iron. And I place, not angle, it's aluminium actually, angle aluminium. Place uh, a couple of pieces of um, greaseproof paper. This stops the epoxy from sticking. And then it's just a matter of uh, placing the uh, nice scale and the uh, liner and just give it a little bit of a a bit of a, I don't know what you call it, a bit of sideways pressure to sort of distribute that epoxy equally. And then um, clamp it up and leave it overnight and then tomorrow these will be ready to fit to the knife. Make sure they're lined up nicely. Well that's that, it's, it's pretty basic stuff really, but I guess it might be of uh, help to somebody out there. So uh, thanks for watching, it's now time for my tea. Good night.